everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Neverending Fantasy for Zelda Classic Part 4. Today we're going to attempt to find level 4, and I know exactly where we need to go. I think. Don't quote me on that exactly. After all, I haven't touched this game for months. But I do remember that raft path that was behind the uh, King's Castle, so we're going to go back there and check it out. I have a feeling that's where level 4 is going to be. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, eh, let, let me just take that shortcut. At least I think there was a shortcut over here, let me see. Oh yeah, that path backwards, right? Because that other side was blocked off. I forgot. <laughs> Run all the way down here again. And pushy, pushy. Alright, go back this way, now we go all the way back to that King's Castle area, or the Ruined Castle. Yep, King's Island, exactly where I want to be. Yep, we gotta go off this raft path. And this is going to take us to... The Haunted Island! Ooh, creepy music here. I think this might be a Zelda tune, I could be wrong. Because I haven't played most of the later Zelda games like Breath of the Wild and uh... Hell, I don't think I even finished Twilight Princess either, I think I got like halfway through the game and then I just kind of lost interest, I don't know why. Probably because I'm used to the old school Zeldas. I really miss them. That's probably why I do more CC quests than I do regular Zelda games. Yeah, believe it or not, there is actually a secret up here. I forgot to point that out. Yeah, you gotta stand here with Din's fire and hit all four trees. It'll open up a secret of some kind. What that is, I forgot, but... In any event, we need a whistle here. Now we can cross this little moat or whatever. Give those and Gidis a bound. Kill them all. <laughs> with the white sword, we should be able to chop them up quicker. Yeah, trust me, you don't want to have the wooden sword here. It'd be a real nightmare. Yeah, I'll round up all these guineas, the big fat weedies. My stupid analog stick, stop getting jammed! Link keeps automatically walking. <laughs> I really need to get a new PC controller. Yeah, let me make sure there's no secret here. Oh, one doesn't push. Okay, here we go. Yep, there was a hidden heart piece here. Good thing I checked. Alright, let's go up here. Um, this tree looks inconspicuous. Alright. Had to try. Yeah, I'm just gonna kill them for fun. Oh. Yeah. Hey, he faced, through, he faced through my flame. Well, I guess if I could do it, enemies can too. It's a double-edged sword. Alright, into the stairs. And there's a key abound somewhere. Maybe we gotta kill the Gibdos to get it. And we got a lone statue shooter. Beware of it. And there's our key. And before I go north, I wanna go check out the right path. Blocked off by a block. Kill the keys, and I guess we drop it. Oh, damn you. Nope. Uh, okay, I guess this might be like a one-way back kind of thing. So, I guess we're going north through the lock block. Oh, blue wizard robes already. But it's only two. But they still hurt, so be careful. Still one heart of damage. I, I think normally under regular circumstances, Blue Wizards would do two hearts, but Kenster kindly nerfed them, I guess. <laughs> and I'm glad for that. 
All right, I think this is the entrance to level four. Yes, level four, Light Shrine, and yeah. Okay, this music I know. Super Castlevania, the treasury area. So I have played Super Castlevania before. Very fitting for a uh, haunted dungeon. Hey, we get the map after killing the Zoles. Light Shrine. Yeah, level 4 seems pretty small, too. But I am not complaining. Oh, God. Oh, no. yeah, I forgot. Magic Shield. I'm okay. Burn. Block. Kill. Yeah, Wizardrobes, Guineas, and Gibdos everywhere. Alright, what block are we pushing? That one. And to the left. Alright, more Guineas and Gibdos. And we got a Zora attempting to snipe us. But I'm gonna snipe you first. Hack and slash. Yeah, I would do the spin slash here, but really no point. So I would rather have like a full room to be able to use it. Alright, got the key. I'm gonna whistle in here and see what happens. Oh, drains the water. Good to know. Uh, let's see. Well, I know we gotta do some bombing here, so let's find out which wall is bombable. Or do I walk through the wall? Nope, that don't work either. Huh. Alright, I guess, I guess we have to go back the other way then. I just wanted to make sure there was no other rooms over here. Gel triple. <coughs> yeah, you don't kill them quick enough, they'll go rogue soul on your ass. Alright, I guess we're gonna go to the left now. Oh, wizard robes, hello. Oh, God. Oh. Uh, yeah, I want to get rid of these dark nuts make more room. Oh. Alright, now the yellow wizard robes are going bye-bye. Yeah, I see you, Mr. Blue, trying to zone in on me. Oh, no, you don't. Okay, I'm going to get him while he faces through the cave wall here. Get free shots in on him. Alright, done there, to the left. Okay, yeah, you need the magic boomerang to reach this orb, so I hope you guys I hope you guys purchased it. And gel triple up. Oh sure I get hit as I get the compass. That shouldn't count. Block all these friggin' beams. Little excessive with the statue shooters there, Kenster. <laughs> uh, alright, oh, we gotta, oof, um, hmm. Okay, well, we got a reflector here. Let me kill the Gibdos with arrows. Okay, we got a key, now we can go back this way. into that door. Hello, Gibdo. Hello, Wallmasters. Alright. We have almost unraveled all the Gibdos and the creepy hands. Uh, Alright, I think that's everything. Alright, which one of these blocks are gonna budge? One of them have to. It's a matter of which one. Unless I didn't kill all the enemies, but I think the Wallmasters would have still sprouted. It's probably gonna be one of these blocks here. Or it might be one of these. 
Actually, let me leave the room, make sure there's not an enemy still on the wall. Nope. Alright, well, try pushing them all again. One of these have to move. And one of these could also... Oh, there we go. It was that one. Okay, and here we have... Yay, there's the wand. Now we can solve that puzzle in the other room. I like the wand sprite in this game. It looks pretty cool. Oh, uh, let me out. I'm trying to save magic. Alright, let's solve this little reflector puzzle. Alright, yeah, stand over here, bounce it off there. Oh, actually, wait a minute. No. Um. Oh, wait. Uh, hang on a second. Hit that. No. Ew, okay, I, had to, I didn't know I could move the reflector. But the block is in the way, so that's gonna be a problem. Actually, let me do this again. I think I know what I did wrong there. Yeah, I think I was supposed to push it that way. There we go. Line it up here. There we go. That's what we were supposed to do. And watch out, we got a little wind, ro wind robe in here. I guess you could consider it a uh, mid-boss of some of sorts. An easy one at that. Just watch out for the statue shooter. It's your only real threat. Is the tornado ain't gonna hurt, it's just gonna zap you back to the start. And it looks like we got a stairwell here. More gel triple. Okay, um, let me make sure I got all the rooms down here covered. Yep, I do. Alright, where are we at? Yep, just one way to go, and that's right. Oh, we got Stalfos 2 and Blue Dark Nuts. Oh god. Boy, I can't wait till I get the hammer. Statue shooter, Stalfos 2 knives. Lots of fun. And the Blue Dark Nuts just basically try to make you run into all that stuff. I think that's all for that room, unless... Oh, I can't bomb to the right, because the Triforce room is there. There might be a secret in this room, I think. Gotta kill all the enemies first, of course. Go away, Kiddies and Stealthos, too. Alright, let's see if we can... Okay. There was a secret. I had to push the gravestone to open the door. But I thought there was going to be, like, a hidden heart piece underneath one of them, but nope. Oh god, wizard robes! Both colors! Oh, oh no, you don't. Only two of each wizard robe. And the blues can be easy to snipe while they're teleporting through the block, so take advantage of that. And having Slash really helps, too, because you can stay below them and just stay in a safe zone while you're killing them. So lots of things work in your favor in this room. Let me make sure there's no hidden heart piece underneath here. Nope, don't look like it. Alright. And we're almost at the boss. Yeah, this little re this reflector moves very spontaneously, so you kind of have to catch it at the right point to hit that crystal. All right, we got it. Yeah, be wary of the spikes there; they probably do like a heart of damage or more. Hopefully, the analog stick doesn't fritz out here because that would be bad. Whew, all right. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, I think this is where Kenster starts using the uh, walk through the wall trick, so he hit that boss key. I thought I had it already, but I didn't. <laughs> Alright, well, we're going to have to keep an eye out for it. So there's a room off the map. Oh, I noticed... Sweetest... Oh, that's a trifle. Okay, wait a minute. Uh... Hmm. Let me make sure there's a... I'm going to 
check, I have to check every wall now. Well, except the north, because that's the Triforce room. Uh, this might be an off the off the map area. Yeah, right there. There we go. Yeah, I know team got very annoyed with this with this stunt that Kessler kept pulling in this game. The off the map crap. Uh I'm trying to see what I got okay, um Alright, I think I see what I gotta do here. I don't know, I can't push this. Thought I could. Can't push it oh, I can push it down. But that doesn't really Oh, okay, I see. Alright, hang on. Okay, now I see what I have to do, sort of. So, that not only can you push the reflector, but it also makes a safe path across the spikes. Very clever. Okay. Now we gotta bounce the... Stop! Analog stick. There we go. And that should net us our boss key. Yep, there we go. And the rest of this dungeon should be self-explanatory. Kenster, you and your off-the-map shenanigans. I'm calling you out on it, too, just like UDF did. <laughs> Although I won't be as harsh. Because I saw his run, so I know what to expect, kinda. Alright, let's go do this. Find out who the boss is. I don't really remember. I'm probably gonna say BS Patro, maybe. Like, yeah, they do do a heart. That's why I'm hoping this stupid analog stick doesn't get stuck on me, otherwise I'll end up running into this. Ah, fucking hate that. Alright, boss of level 4 is indeed a PS Patra. Now I wonder if the wand is effective. Nope, it's not. Sword it is, then. Maybe I'll utilize the spin attack here. Provided the statue of fire doesn't really mess me up while I'm doing it. Ah. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, let me get out of this thing's way. Alright, he almost dead. We got him. Yeah, just kill the ring thing, do your best to dodge the statue fire, and you'll be fine. And have a potion just in case you screw up like I did. <laughs> Getting caught between them, never a good thing. But I had a potion, so I wasn't too worried. The next element calls to you from the desert of Clier to the west. A Mexican word, I will take it. Alright, another element is ours. Four down, four to go. Boy, I gotta say, I think we're closing in on the halfway mark of this game. Already. Which is pretty crazy. This Trials of Mana took me like about three months to get through. <laughs> well, ZC Quest definitely gotta take a lot less. Especially if it's decent length or short. Oh yeah, forgot down here is the uh, exit. <coughs> Quick exit out of here. All right, now we gotta locate level f level five. Uh, why did you have to spawn me on top of the enemies? Unfair game. Uh, I wonder if there's any new secrets I can unveil with the wand. I guess we'll see soon. Yeah, level 5 is definitely where the game starts to pick up in intensity a little bit. Just a little bit. <coughs> yeah, I'm not going to spam the wand because it probably consumes a good amount of magic. This music sounds like it might be a Donkey Kong Country type of song. It might be, I don't know, it might be a Donkey Kong game, I'm not sure. It could be a Zelda tune, too. Could be any kind of Nintendo tune. All 
I think the Desert of Kiere is over here, so let's go... Yeah, we gotta take the left path to get there. Yeah, we're definitely not getting to level 5 in this bit. Definitely the next part, though. Yeah, it looks like we're about to enter a new area. And here is the Desert of Kieri, our next destination. I'm gonna kill the Leavers first, and then we'll go to the left. Oh, we got a hammer spot here. Alright, what you're supposed to do here is, well, we need a super bomb. This different colored sand indicates that you have to do something here. Super bomb. So, we're gonna have to go to the bomb shop all the way back on Sunset Island. And we got some extra time to do that, so we'll put it in the video. We'll get the super bomb and we'll come back and we'll blow that open and then we'll probably cut it off there. Pretty straightforward quest, but still I like the open world in this quest. Very nice. Probably one of the best classic tile set quests out there. Okay, now I gotta try to remember where to go now. Uh, we want to go... Actually, no, we're gonna go back this way. Gotta go back to that Lionel statue cave. And up we go. Come on, let me murder you guys again. Don't need the stopwatch. All the enemies are dead. And I'm not running no races right now, either. Up the stairs, out of the hole. And I'm at 84 rupees. I think I might actually try to farm the rest of it and get that small wallet. <coughs> I think we're going to need that pretty soon. So, since I got some free time, might as well do a little bit of farming. See if I get those hundred rubies for the wallet. And there's a decent amount of grass, grass patches here that you can slice and slash. So we should be able to make that money pretty quickly. Provided the rupee drops are plentiful. Now we're at 96 already. Alright, one more to go. Let me go back over here up to the bomb shop, too. Go buy that super bomb. Actually, I'm probably going to have to farm a few more. So I think the super bomb was 60, so let me get more. And I want that small wallet, too. Yeah, don't mind me, I'll be done with this shortly. Alright, what's the super bomb cost? 60? No, 40. Okay, it's less than that. Good. Alright, I'm gonna have to farm a few more rubies for that small wallet, though. Now we should be able to get, gain access to the deeper into the desert of the key area with that super bomb. I should get paid for hacking all this grass. I mean, paid by the villagers and not just being paid by the grass. Come on, one more drop. Alright, we've got enough to get that wallet. Let's go get it. Then we'll run back to the desert and we'll cut it off there.
Oh, wait. Gotta go up here. Okay, and we're gonna get the wallet for 100. Yay! <laughs> Actually, I should use the whistle to get back to the uh, haunted graveyard area, so that I would save myself a little bit of time. Ah. Don't drop me on the oct- oh wait, that's gonna take me back to level 1 looking that way. No! Didn't want to do that. Level 4? Did it right. Yeah, whenever you face the right and you blow the whistle that amount of times, you'll get to that level. So if you blow it two times, level two. You blow it three times, you go to level three. So it kind of works like that. The only unfortunate part doing this is I have to go all the way back through this island again, but it's all right. I'm just going to try to dodge the enemies, so I'm not going to kill them unless they get my way. And if I could just slash them out of the way, I'll do that. Just trying to run back to the desert so I can just super bomb that wall and end the video. Run, Link. Run as fast as those little Keebler elf legs will take you. Hard to believe we're quickly approaching the halfway point. I think it's probably a. I think after level level five is probably the halfway point, more like. Because you got some extra stuff to do between some of the later levels. Alright, let's get that super bomb ready. Murder all the levers first. Come on. There we go. Spin attack, and now we super bomb this, and there we go. We're gonna cut it off here for now, folks. Stay tuned for Let's Play Legend of Zelda Neverending Fantasy for Zelda Classic Part 5 when we'll enter deeper into the Desert of Kieri and try to find Level 5. Anyway, see you then, peoples!